Yesterday the water tanks were reconfigured, a new one brought in and this one here in the foreground is no longer going to be used to hold water. Its new job will be as firewood storage. The tank had a lot of rust spots in it, so had to go, but it will be fine for storing firewood. The tank is going to live in this space here on the top side of this old repurposed fridge. We will cut a door in one end of the tank. I suspect that will need to be the bottom end because it won't be in as good a condition as the top of the tank. We have to turn the tank over to find out. So the wood tank is going to go in that gap there. We have worked out how far back we can put it so that it does not cast shade on the solar panels. We are almost at the winter solstice which is very fortuitous because that has helped in the calculations. So this wood will need to be moved before we can get the tank into place. To avoid multiple handling as much as possible, we shall move it over to here, right where this last wood log is. So first thing is to move the log. Well, that was a major effort, but we have moved that log over. The frames from the old trampoline make excellent levers. Where the log was, there are a lot of cockchafers, cobbers eating them. Vicky's not sure what he's so interested in. She always watches to see what he's up to in case it is something good. But generally speaking, she reckons he's a bit dodgy. So two pallets of wood have been moved. The wood has just been thrown over here, ready for stacking into the tank. These rocks can be put down to make a bed for the tank and to also fill up a hole that the dogs dug some time ago. There's a site there prepared for the tank to sit on tie a rope around the middle of the tank. Changing direction and rolling along the driveway. The good ship water tank comes up the driveway. Push it up the hill now. Uh, 
Let it start to paint actually white. Okay, let's read it then. Yeah. One, two, three. Are you right? Oh, my goodness. More, just a little bit more. The wood. While the doorway is being measured up, I shall shovel some more gravel. Cobber, the self-appointed site supervisor, sits as close as he dares with all those sparks flying. There's a bit of water in the bottom, so holes are being drilled in the bottom to let the water escape both now and for future episodes. You can see by the inside of the door just how rusty the inside of the tank was. No wonder my filters look pretty brown when we change them. Look at all that sludge. Rusty sludge. So here's our new wood store that is as packed or stacked as it's going to be this season. The old construction site dunny and fridge are still used as wood store. The door fell off the fridge a while back. The downhill side of the tank is chocked mostly with bricks and the fridge as well and that will help the tank maintain its shape in the weakest spot which is at the doorway where some of the metal is missing. The flap from the doorway is used as the flooring but we had to let it dry out first before we put that down and then it's on that bed of blue stone which will help with drainage. The next lot of burning wood will come from the bottom end of this tarp that's dry enough to burn then we will chock up this other side as well. I think I will use pallets and start stacking green wood on them. So it's then a short step from transferring them into the tank. Once they've had some time outside and the tank is empty and ready to be restocked. 